Uh, good day, YouTube. So, um, something that happens occasionally, more often than you think, is um, files becoming unreadable or unretrievable or unrecoverable due to what is called charge leakage on NAND flash drives or SD cards. Officially, they, they go by the name of retention errors. Now, um, officially, let's call it officially, uh, these errors should be caught by error correction routines and be corrected by error correction routines if possible. But if it's not correctable, then at least you should get some kind of read warning or read error. Now, on cheap NAND based uh, drives, you often see that you don't get the error. The controller simply gets overwhelmed by too many bit errors and then just decides to. Uh, deliver corrupt data without any warning or the yeah so it decides to or the ECC, ECC uh, algorithm may be too weak to cope with uh, too many um, uh, bit errors so it may simply not warn the uh, controller and the controller may um, not even be aware I'm going to slightly adjust my monitor because I cannot see my screen. Something like this. Now, the um, retention error or, uh, or um, charge leakage can be best explained if we imagine a NAND cell as a uh, bucket, like I uh, um, draw in this picture. This uh, rep represents a multi-level cell. So we have we have it, it, we have two bits. The cell can remember two bits, and it uh, it can do this by maintaining uh, three thresholds, and then to store a certain value, we insert a number of electrons into the cell and the number of electrons is either below this threshold level and then the cell will represent one and zero or it's above threshold three and below threshold two and then the cell will represent zero zero or we insert a couple of electrons more and the uh, threshold is above two and above of between one and two and the, the cell will represent one one or we insert a couple of electrons more and then we uh, and then the cell represents uh, zero one all fine until now but what we see is that these cells are not perfectly isolated. So uh, over time, electrons leak out of the cell. Uh, apart from that, when uh, neighboring cells are being programmed, this may also affect the number of electrons inside this cell and uh, electrons may escape or additional electrons may be inserted so this all has effects can affect the value a cell has and uh, uh, even if only one bit changes this can have large effects on in uh, for example jpeg files the file may become corrupt uh, just by one bit being flipped or changed value from one to zero zero to one 
And so this charge leakage of, or retention errors can lead to a couple of files being corrupted on the flash drive. Sometimes we see all files affected by uh, bit errors. Um, yeah, so this so this can be a real problem. Now, uh, uh, a data recovery lab may be able to still read the data by reading the NAND chip directly, but I'm gonna. Uh, maybe get into that later what we see happen sometimes is that these cheap uh, NAND based devices are very poor at um, wear leveling or they may not if they're really old not do any wear leveling at all and what we also see is the more a NAND cell is used the weaker it gets so the easier it will lose um, electrons and so uh, often used areas are more susceptible to charge leakage they become more and more susceptible to charge leakage and one of the areas that's often used on a SD card for example is the file allocation table so the FAT table now uh, what I have seen happen regularly is that um, these people have cards and they complain about the images being corrupt and then I ask them uh, 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 has this been in storage for a long time and when they say yes uh, one year two years three years some sometimes sometimes more then, then I'm always uh, considering that we may be dealing with charge leakage. And um, so then we have two options. We can try repair individual files or we can try the um, chip off method because then uh, we can... Um, no, this is too technical. I'm not going to explain it now. But we have ways to... Uh, deal with retention errors let's put it like this now what I said earlier about um, often used areas are more susceptible to retention errors this is also something we should always consider so because we because we see files that are corrupt in Windows Explorer or we try to undelete files with uh, a utility like rphoto and we still get corrupt files we may be um, we may tend to think that it's the files that are corrupt but the other option is is that we're dealing with a corrupt fat that the fat is mainly affected by retention errors and the fat therefore uh, contains a lot of bit errors and therefore, the Fed will be uh, referencing uh, uh, the wrong clusters uh, for any particular file. And I ran into an example again this afternoon. So I'm, I have this example I can show you. Uh, our photo. I'm going to start our, our photo. It's commonly recommended as a free file recovery tool for uh, photo and it's a very decent tool it, it, often enough it works um, if I now I have this disk image of a SD card where we had this issue occur, occur. Yeah, so this there was a uh, all photos on the uh, SD card appear to be corrupt and people try to recover the files and were unsuccessful. Then I simply ask them to read a disk image with errors and all. Yeah? So I get the same thing as they, if they send me the disk image, I 
basically get the same thing. I can try the same thing as they can try with their SD card. So if we open the SD card image, there it is, we can um, ask our, our photo to show the files and then you'll see what I mean. A couple of files we can see uh, the thumbnails uh, for, can I? And we can even uh, uh, show the full uh, picture. But many are corrupt like this. The majority is corrupt. The majority of the files is corrupt. Cannot even open or look really distorted. Basically, what we see here is that the, the, these parts, this part and this part, be, belong to different files. So this can surely be the result of a corrupt file allocation chain for this file. And we, can, we see more of this type of damage, like here we see this looks like a fragmented file even, but as we'll see later, we can view the file just fine if we start ignoring the file allocation table. And so what you want to do, in, or what you can try in a case like this, this also looks like a fragmented file. Well, what we can try to do in cases like this is, um, for example, use my JPEG digger tool. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I had to look up susceptible. It's on my Disk Tuna website. If you download the JPEG repair uh, toolkit, it will be included. If you, you will uh, get a zip file. And if you unzip it you will end up with a bunch of files you simply uh, run jpeg digger uh, yes and now i'm gonna i'm gonna do that later uh, so run jpeg digger we Open the same disk image file if I can remember where it was. I cannot. Uh, Z? Yeah. Disk images. This is just this is the same disk image file. JPEG digger comes with a cannot determine post uh, file system type blah 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 then you just have it automatically uh, detect file system parameters well, obviously it only needs the block size so it's gonna try to to determine that if it's at 50 percent or something you can stop it but i'll let it finish now And then just click OK to accept uh, values. I click OK. Now what I will do is I'm going to, because it's not my photo, so I'm going to uh, put a little translucent thingy over the... Uh, I'm going to start scanning. I can make it that smaller. So what we see is all intact files. Almost all the files are that are uh, corrupt inside um, our photo are intact. Um, when we scan the same disk image, with, which is an exact copy of the um, memory card those people tried scanning and so um, 
the most likely explanation I think for this phenomena is that the file allocation table which is the most used most intensively used part of the uh, SD card has weakened over time was less and less capable to retain the uh, data inside the NAND cells did the poor job of uh, wire leveling and uh, basically the here we have one corrupt file and now we see uh, JPEG digger uh, the entropy uh, map it's scanning zeros now so there's no data in the, inside this area of the uh, flash drive and we, okay it's done so yeah but basically we see that uh, we can uh, recover in-text files from this uh, from this flash drive, from this SD card, even though the, even though part of the uh, service is uh, affected by uh, retention errors or bit errors or bit rot or bit flips or whatever you want to call it. So basically keep this in the back of your mind that not all photos that look fragmented are necessarily fragmented if it's an older sd card consider the most intensively used area of the sd card may have weakened is less capable of retaining um, its data and therefore the file allocation tables may be corrupt but not the actual data inside the data area. I'm hoping I'm, I hope I'm making a little sense. Uh, yeah. So just keep in mind if I have an old SD card, all files look corrupt, then there are two options. The files are actually corrupt and then you can contact a data recovery company or consider that the file allocation table try if you're not used a carver yet try using a carver jpeg digger is a carver it ignores the file system it ignores the file allocation table and it scans the entire service for uh, jpeg files or uh, raw files yeah, okay, I hope you have a very good day. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel inclined. Bye bye.